Hey, what's going on? Just uh, back with another video here. So Pierre Polyev just dropped another video just exposing the drug policy, the horrible drug policies that Justin Trudeau uh, endorses and of course wants to bring here to Ontario, even though it was a massive failure in BC. Hey, why not ruin one province when you can ruin two? So let's have a look at this video and see what Pierre Polyev has to say about Justin Trudeau's horrible, horrible policies. too far too fast on decrimming safe supply for the general public too far too too fast i think the fact is we needed to be um ambitious in trying to solve this but the public health agency of canada now estimates that an average of 22 people died each day from overdoses just last year it means bc is on pace to report the most toxic drug deaths in a year ever the numbers keep going up one in every four deaths among young adults is attributed to opioid overdose. Discarded needles on the grounds of one of BC's busiest hospitals. A playground where hundreds of children play is getting a lot of attention after needles were found resulting in some kids being pricked by the drug paraphernalia. The province set records in March for most overdose calls in one day, the highest 30-day average of overdose calls and most consecutive days with 100 or more poisonings. Too far, too too fast. I think the fact is we needed to be um, ambitious in trying to solve it. Yeah, I don't know why they always add the sappy music. It's actually kind of corny, but you know, either way, it, it, he, Pierre Polyev, he's right to ask, what's wrong with this man? It, it, look at the, all the numbers that's going up. Dr biggest drug overdose in a single year in BC's history. And Trudeau was like too far, too fast. Like he had, like he had no idea what he was even being asked. What he's essentially being asked is why are you destroying parts of this country? One by one, you don't see the numbers. You don't see how bad these policies are. Like is he such a narcissist where he can't even recognize when he's made a mistake? I mean, it sure seems like it. I mean, needles everywhere, overdose. I mean, you can even see it here in Toronto. People pissing and shitting and masturbating right outside of a of a public school. They got to put up like little walls around the playground just to keep the kids safe. Just so they're not completely exposed to it. I'm sure they smell it and hear it and all this. I mean, what a crazy thing to, to have your child be, be exposed to. Especially in what is supposed to be the greatest country on earth. Right? Politicians keep saying that. It's the greatest country on earth. Well, then why are you destroying it? It doesn't make any sense. These liberal drug policies, when I was younger, I used to wonder about, you know, decriminalize, uh, decriminalizing all drugs. Because I believe they've done it in other you know, European countries. And I, I believe it worked for them. But what works for some does not work for all. When you have this much, you know, poverty, tent cities... People can't afford to eat. There's more depression and anxiety because our food isn't even real. There's microplastics in our water. I don't know if they have the same problems in like Portugal where I think they've tried it. But that being said, when you have this much like poverty and mental health issues, which is on the rise constantly, making hard drugs available doesn't help people. It just helps people get addicted and overdose. And that's what you're seeing. Like these policies don't work and it's like, okay, well, we're liberal and this is what we believe. This is what we want to try. Look what it's caused. Stop now. But he's not. He's doubling, tripling and quadrupling down because that's what he wants. He sees BC, especially Vancouver being destroyed. It's like, all right, Toronto next and Montreal. We'll just destroy all major cities. Like why? Like it just, it doesn't make any sense unless he's doing it on purpose. Or he's just an idiot. What do you guys think? Is he is he really just that stupid or is he doing it on purpose? To me, I don't think you can be so incompetent where you would just look at what happened in BC and then want to do it in other parts of the country because you think it worked when it clearly didn't. The, the numbers aren't there. He can read numbers, I assure you. So since he can read numbers, why is he continuing to do this? Because he's an evil piece of garbage. It's just, it's, it's unbelievable. Not worth the cost. He's not worth anything. 
And this guy needs to go as soon as possible. Jugmeet Singh needs to seriously grow some balls and vote for a vote of non-confidence, especially considering he keeps complaining about Justin Trudeau so that Canadians can have the election that we deserve. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you agree with these drug policies? Do you agree with Pierre Polyev? Let me know what your thoughts are. I really enjoy reading those comments. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps grow this channel. And I'll be back shortly with another video.